had a really strong end to 2011 um, after a difficult period with injuries and crashes yeah. and, and so on and so forth. How are you feeling going into 2012? I feel really good. I mean, any, any year on upswing, I think, helps a lot for the next year. And so it helps you with motivation, helps you with just physically feeling, feeling well going, leaving the season. Um, you know, when years pass, when you're, you're struggling, you're, you're grasping for motivation, you're grasping for anything, you know, at that point in time. At this, whereas this year, you know, you have more confidence and you're a little bit more relaxed. And I think that, that bodes well for next year. Yeah, you say grasping for, for motivation. Was it a really tough period for, for a while? You know, sometimes I, I shouldn't say grasping motivation. I think it's almost like you're trying too hard sometimes. You have all that motivation. You just want to get back so bad that you, you try too hard and you end up getting nowhere because you just end up killing yourself. Whereas, you know, you're like, you're confident, you know, like, I've done enough today. I'm going home and re re resting. You know? Whereas sometimes you think, oh, I got to do that extra hour and then you just burn yourself out physically and mentally. Mm. I guess it, it's, it was. It was a, it was a unusual curve because the 09, 08 and 09 results in the Tour de France were were, were great for you, and then yeah. the 2010 and part of 2011 season were were, were a little bit more difficult. And yeah. I guess you probably looked at that and thought, well, I'm gonna. I'm, what were you trying to do to kind of yeah. fix and? Well, I mean, looking back, I almost killed myself in 2009 Tour de France, considering the injuries that I was coming back from already from the Giro. I, I had no reason, or, uh, I had no right to be in the top 10 there at that tour. I just went above and beyond my limits every day. <clears throat> and everything was just, just okay, just okay, just okay. Just making, making the grade pretty much every day. And when I got done with it, I was just spent for over a year, you mm -hmm. know, and it really took a lot out of me, and a lot more than I had thought it did. And um, so it, it showed in 2010, I was always just, that slow to the punch or just getting myself in, in a precarious uh, position where I got into another crash and got another crash and it took that whole time and luckily I did the Vuelta and I started things off and had last year and I was good but I wasn't great so I was just okay and then you know have but you know a ton of people crashed last year and I had bad luck with a lot of people and I still hit the deck five times but yeah same time I still ended up top 20 and still helped my team get on the, the podium in Champs-Élysées and win the team time trial so I mean, it was bittersweet. I, yeah. I wasn't happy with it at all. And it took me just to like a couple of weeks ago to realize that looking back at like, wow, we, we really did have a pretty good Tour de France, you mm -hmm. know, and um, I, I do appreciate it now. But at the time it was like, um, it was, it was bittersweet.